one thing about the special events industry is we're, we're all, you know, we, we work hard, we make great parties, and we party hard. But the other thing we have, we have big hearts, and we want to be able to give back and do, do for society. I feel that our industry has a really special talent and a special ability. We can do more, we can give more, and we can give to the community at large. In July 2011, Susie Perlman and Stacy Mihalik of Mosaic Inc. led a group of special event professionals from across the country to New Orleans, making moves for those in need. It's amazing how much damage is still there. Surprised is one word to describe it, but I was also taken aback that after all of these years, there are still homes left there. There are still families without a home. You, you hear things, you heard about Katrina, uh, you knew about it, but here we were six years later. It was devastating to my mind. It was, it was heart-wrenching, and I just was in disbelief the whole time. In St. Bernard Parish, one of the hardest hit areas by Hurricane Katrina, Event Pros Take Action, or EPTA, partnered with St. Bernard Project. We ship close to 15,000 different products, china, glass, silver, tablecloths, napkins, and they were then distributed to close to 200 homes. We work with small companies and large companies. Rentals Unlimited, Larry Green, had all this product that he kindly donated and shipped it down to New Orleans so that we could give it to different families in need. It was July in New Orleans, and it was hot. This was physical work, loading and unloading and painting and straightening out and making things that was all hands on deck and we sweated our butts off. First home that we went to, what impressed me so much is these were hardworking people. These people were not looking for a handout at all, but these people needed a hand. And to see how determined they were to come back to their homes uh, impacted me quite a bit. And during their trip, the members of VPTA not only gave, but received. Listening to the stories that they had to tell of uh, the crisis they went through, of the loss they went through, not only of possessions. We met a Katrina victim, Mr. Green. When the levee broke and the water was filling their house, he was helpless as he watched his mother drown in her wheelchair. One of his grandchildren slipped from his arms and he was faced with a choice to save one child or to go back and try to get the other. It gives you a chill. You know, it's one thing to hear it, but when you're hearing it from the victims, it's just, it's just touching. It just, it just was. That was just one story of so many that, that we heard that day and experienced while we were in New Orleans. We went to the home of a brother and sister and I'm guessing they were probably in their late 50s or maybe even early 60s. They had been sharing one plate. She had one plate which she showed us and she told us how she would eat something off of it, wash it, serve her meal to her husband, wash it, and then do the same for their children. We then opened the crate and she literally was crying, had, was left speechless because we started pulling out B&B plates and dinner plates and all-purpose glasses and so much silverware. While it may be a plate that we look at every day in our industry, to them it's dinner on a table with their family. Every family that we spoke to, they all told their stories and while each one has its own unique, scary, tragic side to it, they all had one message and that was to not be forgotten. For two special families, EPTA's journey would change their lives forever. AFR really stepped up to the plate and helped us in a really unique way and they were able to provide us with complete furnishings for two homes. We worked with two special design angels, Mark Wells and Richard Carbati, and helped create two homes from top to bottom for two special families. The Jones family and the Green family, one family in particular, the Jones family, they had a special needs child turning four years old, had never slept in a bedroom, didn't have the toys that a child would growing up in his age. We put paintings on the wall, we put in sofas and armchairs and bed sets and pillows and carpets and really created a home that they could live in forever. And just seeing his eyes light up and that family just so overwhelmed with what we had given them, they now had a home that was fully furnished. They now had a bedroom for baby Dale to play in. I started talking to the mother and I said, what are you most looking forward to in your new home? She said to me, drawers. For six years, all of her belongings have been 
in plastic storage bags sitting on the floor of the FEMA trailer. To see the faces and the expressions and the, and the loss of words and the tears in their eyes, and, uh, it was just, it was phenomenal. That's something that you can't explain to someone who hasn't been there to experience this. And I took that home with me when I went down to New Orleans. And it's forever changed my life. Being part of Event Pros Take Action was a revelation to me. Towards the end of our trip, it didn't matter how sweaty and dirty and how badly we stunk. We were there for these people and to experience what they live with day to day. And being able to provide some relief, no matter how small, it was a very emotional two days that have changed my life forever. We expected to go down there and give, but what we left with was gifts from that community. In those few days here in New Orleans, and I think it changed their lives as it, as it changed ours. And EPTA is returning this summer, and you can help. And Pros Takes Action needs everybody. We need everybody because everybody can do something. With our talents and our resources, we're really able to impact uh, communities in need in a, in a very unparalleled way. Whatever it takes, everybody can do their little piece of it. Everybody does a little, it'll be a lot.